The world changed dramatically after the March 3rd primary. Right after the two candidates were chosen for the general election, COVID-19 thrust the county health system into the spotlight. At times, incumbent Kristen Gaspar has been at odds with the county. Still very early on in the pandemic, in June, Gaspar was publicly calling for the county to loosen restrictions on backyard gatherings. It is really easy to look back at any point in time during this pandemic response and point to, okay, well, in this month, uh, we may have felt a different way, but we've learned a lot. She's still pushing for San Diego County to make its own reopening plan as the virus continues to spread. We need our local control back from the governor. California is a large, diverse state, and the thought that we can treat every county exactly the same way with this peanut butter approach is the wrong one. Gaspar says she suspended her campaign during the summer to concentrate on the COVID-19 response. She says that's one reason why, even as an incumbent, she's trailing her challenger, Tara Lawson Reamer, in fundraising. Early on, Lawson Reamer, who is an attorney and college professor at UCSD, says she repurposed her phone bank so they could perform wellness checks for seniors in the district. Lawson Reamer is also critical of the county's response, but for a different reason. Not having enough staff on hand to handle the pandemic, even after a hepatitis A outbreak two years ago. They just didn't have the resources. There had been an underinvestment in staff for so long that they, they just were not able to keep up with the demand. And they just did an extraordinary job with you know, the limited resources they had. So that, frankly, fundamentally falls on um, you know, the prior leadership. Aside from potentially turning the Board of Supervisors from red to blue, the third district is likely to tip the balance of power on the regional planning agency, Sandag, where Gaspar now has a seat. Sandag is creating a 30-year plan which concentrates on mass transit and moves away from road widening projects. Gaspar wants those road projects. How much more are we willing to dedicate solely into mass transit while continuing to ignore the rest? How about we start looking at a balanced way to make those investments? The county's climate change plan has ended up in court. Lawson Reamer is running on replacing it with what she calls the gold standard of climate change plans. But she hasn't taken a position on Sandag's plan. The first thing you have to do is a feasibility study. You know, how is this going to impact how we live and work? Is it really going to bring the solutions that we need to, to our community? Um, and then as well as an economic study, you know, what's going to be the impact economically in terms of job creation? In the latest campaign finance report, Lawson Reamer brought in an extra $162,000 more than Gaspar. Actors Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin recently held a virtual fundraiser for her. Lawson Reamer says Fonda is supporting candidates who take a strong stance to stop climate change. During the recent debate, Gaspar criticized the amount of money coming in from the Service Employees International Union Local 221, saying the union is trying to take over the Board of Supervisors. This is not the time to siphon precious tax dollars over to labor union bosses. Lawson Reamer says she's proud of her union support. Instead, Lawson Reamer continues to hammer away at Gaspar's support of the Trump administration, including trips to the White House. My opponent has been a strong supporter of Donald Trump since day number one, was one of his earliest endorsers. The district runs up the coast from Solana Beach to Encinitas and up the 15 from the 8 to Escondido. Once reliably Republican, it now has more registered Democrats. The third district is the best hope for Republicans to hold a three to two majority on the County Board of Supervisors after a second seat went to Democrats in the primary. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.